Hello everybody, my name is Peter and today I felt like making a video comparing the ZTE Blade, also known as the Orange San Francisco, with the iPhone 4. Now if we just have a look at the outside, uh, we can see that the iPhone 4 is a bit bigger uh, than the ZTE Blade. They both have a 3.5 inch touchscreen, but I think that the uh, touchscreen of the iPhone 4 is a bit wider as you can see it's about three millimeters and there's a bit of an optical illusion right here if I put the uh, ZTE blade underneath it it will look uh, like the ZTE is a bit wider but the iPhone 4 has a, a bit wider screen and of course the design um, I think it's the design of the iPhone is uh, a bit better than the ZTE blade but we can't really complain because an iPhone would cost around 700 euros and a ZTE blade it's about 100 to 120 euros. Alright, so I'm gonna do a couple of tests and see which phone is best. Okay, so the first test I'm gonna do is a boot test to see which phone boots up quickest and comes up with the uh, unlock screen quickest. So, uh, let me go ahead and put down the camera and boot them both phones up. Alright, so... Here we go, we can see both phones are booting. On the left we have the ZTE Blade, on the right the iPhone 4. and both come up at about the same moment actually um, I think the ZTE blade was a bit quicker with the uh, like little pattern unlock thingy but first you'll need to uh, put in the uh, code so I think this is a draw guys alright so the second test I want to do is a slide test so basically this way we can see how sensitive the screen is now if we go to the ZTE blade you can see that the uh, slide is working fine there's no problems with it, uh, it doesn't lag or anything it's uh, it's very nice and if we go to the iPhone it's very nice as well I think on the iPhone it's a bit smoother but yeah that kinda depends some people really press the screen and some people are very very sensitive with the screen I don't know I think they're both uh, good on the slide aspect. Right, so this is uh, another draw. Surprisingly, another draw. Alright, so for third test, I want to open up an app, and in this case, it's going to be SoundHound. Uh, if you didn't know about this app yet, it's amazing. Basically, it recognizes uh, songs. So if you hear a nice song somewhere and you want to know the uh, title of the song and the artist, you basically, uh, you know, launch the app and it will scan the uh, the music and it will come up with a title but this is not an app review so I'm gonna open up both apps right now I'm gonna need to put down the camera for a sec alright so starting in three two one so as you can see the iPhone is definitely quicker uh, on opening up SoundHound uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put some sort of stopwatch in the uh, video but we'll see this definitely goes to the iPhone and I'll do another uh, app so don't worry alright so I said I was gonna do another app and I am I'm gonna boot YouTube on both phones and see which one is quickest so let me put down the camera once again 3 2 1 as you can see they both boot pretty quick uh, only the iPhone boots YouTube in the browser and there's a pre-installed app on the ZTE Blade which is great so um, <laughs> another draw I guess alright so let's go ahead and uh, look at the video streaming performance in both phones so let's go ahead and uh, yeah, actually open up a video so I think I'm gonna do this horizontally to oop, phone crash <laughs> turn around the ZTE Okay, so let me just go ahead and open something up. 
right here. I have no idea what this is. Um, Seems like it's some sort of uh, cycling video. Very British accent. <laughs> Alright, so that seems smooth to me. No lag whatsoever, and it didn't take uh, any time to load the video. Alright, so I'm gonna unlock the uh, ZTE for a sec. I always fail on unlocking it. Alright. There we go. So let's go ahead and open up this uh, video and see how it performs. So there definitely is some loading time with the ZTE, but once again, uh, not much. And as you can see, I don't think the volume is on. Seems like a French video to me. Alright, so doesn't seem like there's lag uh, to me and all right pause it sweet so I think both phones do pretty well on YouTube um, the iPhone 4 was definitely a bit quicker loading up the video but the uh, ZTE lag was quick as well so yeah both phones do great on YouTube all right so the last test is a video slash photo quality test and on the left here we see the ZTE Blade and on the right the iPhone 4 and my personal opinion is that the iPhone footage is a bit better uh, it's smoother, it's nicer overall and I must say this goes to the iPhone 4 now if we have a look at the pictures uh, you can see that the Blade pictures are a bit I don't know, sharper, more realistic, you can actually see the sunlight and on the iPhone 4 it looks a bit made, I don't know, that's my personal opinion, you can decide for yourself once again, uh, but I think this one goes to the blade. So let's go ahead and have a look at the overall results of this review. Alright, so for the final results, both phones have a very nice design, I think that the iPhone 4 design is a bit better, but you can decide for yourself. For screen sensitivity, I think that both phones do very, very well. The iPhone 4 is a bit more sensitive, but not everybody likes that, so make your own choice. For the boot test, I think this is a draw, guys. Both phones booted in about the same time, and I was surprised, because, you know, I didn't expect that. So for the app load up, uh, the iPhone definitely did a better job on loading up sound held. But in YouTube, it was a draw. Both phones uh, loaded up the app in about the same time. So I was surprised by that. For the video stream, the iPhone 4 had no loading whatsoever. And I really like that. So in that aspect, the iPhone 4 is definitely better. The ZTE Blade had a short load, but the video streamed perfectly fine. Alright, so last but not least, the video slash photo quality. I really like the iPhone 4 videos, uh, the ZTE Blade videos are not so good to be honest with you. The ZTE Blade photos though are very very good and I really really like the photos. Right, so this is all based on my personal opinion. Uh, you can decide for yourself, buy the phone you like, um, but take in consideration that the ZTE Blade is about 7 times cheaper than the iPhone 4. Um, so. I would say ZTE Blade for the win, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>